Hi honeys, it's Michelle. I'm here today to do a what's in my bag. I've had a couple requests for them lately, or for the what's in my bag videos lately. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that. Um, I just got back from going to the grocery store. I did a bunch of grocery shopping. I'm pretty sure I got about a month's worth of food, with the exception of having to stop and maybe get milk and eggs and bread. I think I'm pretty set for quite a while, so that's great. Um, so I'm drinking my eggnog coffee that Brad just made for me. It's cold out, so I'm finally wearing a hoodie. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just got a nice crispness in the air and don't roll your eyes, but I was listening to Christmas music in the car. There's just something so cheerful and hopeful and magical about Christmas music. And, um, hi. Did you need help getting up? <laughs> Here. That's Zelda. She's getting a little older. <laughs> she's 12 now. And uh, I think she's getting arthritis or something in her hips because she's having a hard time jumping. Anyway, her and I just watched a Christmas movie last night and it was delightful. We watched, um, what's it called, Last Christmas. And um, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> I know it's a little early to start watching Christmas movies and listening to Christmas music, but not for me, it's not. Every year after Halloween, I start. So for me this year, I actually waited an extra week and a half. I held out as long as I could. <laughs> now I'm trying to decide when to start with the decorating and the tree and everything. So that'll be fun to figure out. But the reason that you're here is to see what's in my bag, not hear me talk about Christmas, right? So here's my bag. I know it's not the most exciting bag, but I have to say I love this bag. It's perfect. It's the perfect size. If I'm going to a waiting room, I can fit a book in here. Oh, shoot. I don't have any books lying around. I was going to show you how easy it is to fit a book in here, but I can put my planner in here too. So if I'm going to a doctor's appointment and I know I'll be making one, another appointment later, I can just throw my planner in here. It's wonderful. So let's get started with what's in there. My only complaint about this bag is that the strap isn't long enough. If I want to put it around my torso, it feels a little bit short. It stops like right here and I want it down on my hip. Other than that, I love this purse. Probably my favorite purse ever. Okay, so in this little back pocket here, I have a couple things. Let's see what's this. Oh, it's a um, website somebody gave me when I was voting. Somewhere I can go and look up different things uh, locally about my state. Then I have two handkerchiefs. I'm kind of an old lady that way. I like to have handkerchiefs in my back pocket or my purse. So if I need to sneeze or touch something, whatever, I can just grab one of these and, and use it. So that's what those are for. But... Since they've been in my purse now for a little while, I'm going to just toss them in the wash. Okay, then I have this little front flap here, which is delightful. Here's what it looks like if you look in there. I have two pens in there, and these are the pens that have a little stylus on them. So those are nice to be able to pull out and sign everything, and I have to use the pens in the stores. There's a little pocket in here, and that's where I have my little gripper thing. I'm actually, um, I just got one of those little clips. I'm going to put it on the outside of my purse. So it's a little easier to get access to. And then in here, let me just pull everything out because there's a bunch of random things in here. <laughs> okay. I like these little ice drops, breath strips from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this one is empty though. So I'm going to have to throw that away. Got some bliss decks. I like to always have some kind of chapstick in my purse um, for if I'm feeling a little chappy or if um, if Brad wants some or something like that because he doesn't really like lip gloss. <laughs> I know, go figure. 
And then as far as, um, I've got this clear lip treatment by Hanalei. Oh, can you see that? And I love this stuff. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Um, I've got it on right now with a little bit of lip stain underneath it. But then I, this is loose in my, um, in the pocket because I just went grocery shopping. It's my Smith's Rewards card. Here's my wallet. Let's see, is there anything in the little zip area? Oh, I got a little bit of change in there. And my mom just got me a coin purse. So I'm going to put that change in there and keep the coin purse in my purse. But otherwise, I just have, um, I've got somebody's, I don't want to show it, but I've got somebody's address here. Um, got a voter card. I've got let's see, a card for donating blood. I've got the access card for my storage unit. Hypnotic salon. Oh, that's that hair salon I went to that one time. Um, and then I've got, um, I keep, I always keep a little card in my wallet that has my, um, my Geico policy number, the VIN number and plate number for my car, and then the number that I would have to call to get my car serviced. It's just nice to have all that handy if I ever need it. And then I've got another card that has, um, all the phone numbers and addresses that I might need written on it. What else do I have in here? Anything? Obviously, I've got debit cards, <laughs> Regal Cl Crown Club card. I don't know if I need, really need to keep that in here, but. And then more phone numbers and a business card for my doctor. Obviously my ID. So I love this little green wallet. Dark green is my favorite color. Then there's this little pocket here. In there I have hand sanitizer, little alcohol prep um, pads, the Curad brand that they sell at the Dollar Tree. I've got a um, tape measure. I like to use this if, well, if I need to measure something, but especially with clothes, I already know my measurements. And so, um, I can just measure the clothes and see if they're going to fit around my waist or that kind of stuff. So it's really nice to have that handy. Let's see. I have some bobby pins. I have a little hair thingy. What do you call these? It's not a scrunchie. It's not an elastic. It's hair plastic. <laughs> I have my new favorite hand cream, which is this. So good. It smells amazing too. This is La Chatelaine. La, Ch La Chatelaine. Um, cinnamon orange. This stuff just smells like a dream. I love this stuff. I get it from um, Ipsy, and whenever they have this as an add-on for $3, I just get one because I absolutely love this stuff. And then the other thing I have is this. This is a list of all the stuff I need, all the ingredients I need for the Thanksgiving meal that I'm making. Um, I make a meal every year for just Brad and I that, that way for a whole week we have leftovers and everything and then we're probably it looks like hopefully we're going to be trying to spend time with um, some of Brad's family on Thanksgiving hopefully I don't know for sure yet but and then on the back I write down everything that I'm going to be making um, and so this is nice to always have with me so if I see things on sale or clearance I can get them throughout the whole month. I don't I don't like buying all the Thanksgiving stuff at one time because not only is it really expensive, but not everything is on sale or clearance at the same time. So for example, today, uh, when I was at the grocery store, I went ahead and got the stuffing now because it was 79 cents a, uh, a box. Uh, maybe it'll be cheaper before Thanksgiving, but I doubt it. So that kind of stuff, I just keep my eye out. Um, so it's nice to have a little menu on the back and all the ingredients on the front. 
and that way I can kind of go through what I have in my cupboards too and cross out things I don't need. So that's always nice to have on hand. I do that at Christmas too. I get everything back in here. Then comes the heart of the purse. That's what it looks like if you look in there. I've got a face mask. This one needs to be washed though. The laundry is right behind you, so it's easy to just kind of toss stuff over there. Got some little fuzzy gloves that I got at the Dollar Tree. They're really soft. I've got a pack of Kleenex. I know you're thinking, but you always have the, the little hankies. Right, but these I use for blowing my nose. I just want to throw that away when I blow my nose. <laughs> then I have a Barnes & Noble card. I don't know why that's not in my wallet, but there it is. Um, I've got a little, <laughs> a little car pass from when my mom was in town and, uh, I would go see her at the, you know, pick her up at the RV park. I had to have that in my window. So that's what that is. I've got this little first aid kit that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I've got my little notebook here. Um, and here I like to write down just notes about all kinds of stuff. Um, if I don't have my planner, I'll write appointment times in here. Um, I like to write addresses in here of places that I tend to go. I know that probably sounds kind of weird, but it's nice if I want to just punch them into my phone and get directions quickly with Google or something. It's really nice to have the addresses I typically go to in there. So, got that. I've got another pen. So I should put that where it belongs. I've got three pens in here, my gosh. I've got this little Dollar Tree brush. I'm happy to report that it is um, purse debris free. <laughs> so you open it, there's a mirror here, and then you flip it out here. And I love this because you don't have to worry about purse debris getting all in the comb. It's just gross, right? So that's really nice to have. What else do I have in here? I've got eye drops because for me it's allergy season. Whenever the seasons change, I get allergies and so I like to always have those. And then I also have this Himalayan pink salt nasal inhaler. It's cooling and it's really wonderful, especially when allergies are occurring. Let's see here. What else do I have? I have some nail polish. Sometimes if I'm going to be driving in the car, I'll throw nail polish on after I get in the car. And then while I drive, um, my nails dry. So that's what that's from. I don't need that in my purse right now, though. I've got a nail file. I've got a worry stone that I've had since I was a teenager. I love it. I've got a dollar bill just floating in there. And then I have some purse debris, a little bit of, um, looks like a leftover, like the wrapper of a Band-Aid or something. So I'll throw that away. Um, and then there's a little um, pocket in here with a zipper. And I just have um, a couple Band-Aids and panty liners in there. So that is what's in my purse. Which, um, you know, it's, I know you're probably thinking, wow, she carries a lot in her purse. Not compared to what I used to carry. I used to carry a lot more than this. So I'm actually, um, have gone very minimalist with my purse compared to what it used to be. And I'm very happy and proud of that. <laughs> that is everything that is in my purse. Let me know what you thought of this video. And I do have another question for you. I'm going to be doing some traveling, um, some flying, you know, for Christmas. Do you want to know what's in my bag when I fly? If you do, let me know. I'll make one of those videos. Obviously, that would be a little longer. But I'd be happy to show you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Zelda and I love you. And goodbye. She's sleeping again. <laughs> oh, 
Little girl. Oh, now she's awake. We're going to go watch probably Christmas movies together today. Let me move it so you can see her. Cute little girl. So pretty. You are just gorgeous. Did you know that? Yes, you know that. We tell her all the time. <laughs> anyway.